As the world leaders converge on Copenhagen to sign a plan to slow global warming, we take a brief look now at how China uh, does in what it does rather in cutting its carbon emissions. The country has in fact fostered a huge renewable energy industry as part of its efforts to reduce greenhouse gases. Yu Yue takes a look. Today, nearly 200 turbines harvest the wind blowing over the grasslands of Zhangbei, a three-hour drive north of Beijing. It's an example of the major investment that is making China a world leader in wind energy. Developing new energy is very important for China's growth. If China can use scientific technology to develop green energy in a proper way, it will strengthen China's economic situation and reduce the damage to the environment. According to government goals issued in 2005, at least 15 percent of China's energy should be generated by wind, solar and hydropower by 2020. In July, China set this wind power target to 150 gigawatts of generating capacity by 2020. That's the equivalent of 300 standard coal-fired power stations. China's market for wind power equipment is on track to overtake the U.S. this year as the world's largest, spurred by the government campaign to promote renewable energy to clean up the environment. In recent weeks, China's State Council has proposed a cutting carbon dioxide intensity by 40 to 45 percent by 2020. Some energy and climate change campaigners say China should invest more in renewable energies to reach the goal. However, we also recognize that China is a developing country and it needs more energy sources. What China should do right now is to improve energy efficiency and renewable energies. China is promoting the industry as part of 3P measures to transform the nation into a producer of profitable technologies. Liu Yue, CCTV. And it's time now to see what's happening in the world of sport.